when we want to look into the future, we need to maybe take a perspective on the past. 30 years ago, there was much more production in the United States, both APIs and pharma. There was more operations in Europe done by small companies. Uh, for example, a main hub of uh, the API was Italy, something that have changed when Italy introduced a new patent laws in the 80s. And uh, it changed the landscape of this industry in Europe significantly. This industry has offshored itself or migrated itself into Asia, primarily to China and India. After that, China has changed certain rules and regulations, basically trying to evolve from making the basic APIs into much more advanced technologies or more added value type of a product. And so some of this industry migrate to India as well as other Asian countries. The main involvement post-COVID was about efficiency. It's about where can you make the supply chain more efficient, therefore bring better value for the customers, the end customer, wherever it might be. In addition to that, there were more people that are living longer and consume more products around the world. So quantity-wise, there was a need to provide more quantities to the patients. And the third trend which will impact the future is digital. The customers will ask, in addition to the product, also digital services and also access digitally to the channels that can bring in the solution. So the way the future will be look like is it's going to evolve into a combination of access to efficient process or access to efficient medicines. This will continue to happen. The ask for quality will change and will include also the ability to ensure the safety of the patient that is taking it and the information that the patient is getting even more than we see today. For a certain essential products, we are going to see hubs that countries will want to keep local. You see it in uh, multiple countries already. You see it in the United States, you see it in Russia, you see it in China. And in addition to that, I believe that we are going to see more collaborations between companies that can provide the medicine, companies that can provide the digital services, companies that can provide the device like wearables or any other features that will help the patient to get a different solution than what he got from